Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's my great honor to attend the ASM Multimedia 2020 and give the tutorial about effective and efficient toward open world instance verification. Today, I want to introduce the topic of vehicle verification, past, present, and future. I'm Wu Liu from Computer Vision and Multimedia Tech Lab of Jindong AI Research. What is vehicle verification? Give a, given a proper vehicle image, the goal of vehicle verification is quickly discover, locate, and check the target vehicles in large-scale urban surveillance videos. Vehicle re-artification has a lot of applications, such as green investigation, park management, intelligent trans transportation, and urban computing. However, vehicle re-artification is still a challenging task. The first challenge is the vehicle variety especially the trivial inter-class difference and large intra-class difference. The same vehicle image in different environments are very different, but it is very hard to differ, differ, <coughs> differentiate two different vehicles which are same type and models. The second challenge is different environmental factors, including the cross wheel misalignment of vehicle parts, uncertain illuminations, and the clutter and the occlusion. Compared with project identification, vehicle identification faces special challenges that the two the two wheel in the class difference between different different vehicles or similar viewpoints, especially for the vehicles of the same model and color. Therefore, it's difficult to distinguish vehicles only based on the global view features, while the precise local details of vehicle parts must be exploited for vehicle identification. This is the outline of my talk today, including the data sets, methods, and discussion. First is about the data set. Firstly, we propose one of the first vehicle identification data set, named the variant. This data set contains vehicle image recordings in 20 cameras. We labeled more than 50,000 boxes, 9,000 trips, and 776 uh, vehicles. It also contains 10 different colors, 9 different tribes, and more than 30 different brands. As Petri, our design also releases the special temple information and potential license plate information, which is different from our data set. The researcher can use this, this information to investigate how to improve, improve the vehicle identification performance through multimodality information. Another early vehicle identification data set is published by Peking University, named PKU Vehicle ID. It contains two parts. The first part, VD1, contains more than 70,000 vehicles for training and more than 70,000 vehicles for testing. The second part, VD2, contains near 47 vehicles for training and 40,000 vehicles for testing. It is much bigger than value inside, but it only contains a front viewpoint 
and that contains the license plate information and special chemical information. Vehicle 1 million is published in 2018. It contains the head and rear image of more than 55,000 vehicles, which are captured day and night from cameras installed in several cities. It is called Vehicle 1 million because it contains near 1 million image. The images are also labeled with attributes. For the very wide data set, the vehicle images are captured by a large surveying system containing 174 cameras over a large urban district. The camera network continuously captures vehicles for 24 hours each day and lasts for a month. It's a very long time. It is collected from unconstrained conditions. Very well contains more than 400,000 images of 47 vehicle RDs. The identities, cameras, and the capture time of very wide are all bigger than other data sites. So it's also a very good data site for vehicle identification. The city floor data site consists more than three hours of synchronized HD videos from 40 cameras across. 10 intersections, with the longest distance between two cameras being 2.5 kilometers. The data set contains more than 207 multi family walls covering a wide range of sites. All sites, view angles, vehicle models, and urban traffic flow conditions. The also host uh, AI city challenge that allows researchers to compare performance of newest technology te technique. This table compares introduced five data sites. We can find that although very is published very early, it still has many unique advantages, such as special camera information multi-video information and license plate. We can also say that the PPU VD1 and 2 has the most identities. The vehicle 1 million has the most bosses and the very wide has the most cameras. Currently, the city floor has the most boxes quality. So every design has its unique advantage. You can choose one or some of them in your innovation for vehicle ID. Finally, I want to introduce a new multi grown green vehicle parking data site for semantic analysis of vehicles in the world. First of all, the MVP contains 24,000 vehicle image captured in real-world surveillance sense, which makes it more scalable than the writing design as listed in the real one. Moreover, for different requirements, we will notice the vehicle image with pixel-level part, with pixel-level part mask in two granular in two granularity. The cost of this is of 10 classes and the fine annotations of 30, uh, 59 classes. The, the former cost annotations can be applied to object level applications such as vehicle air identification, front ground classification and post estimation, while the late 
Flying annotations can be used for high quality image generation and content manipulation. So, uh, furthermore, the image reflects complexity of real circumstances, such as different viewpoints, implementation conditions, background, and so on. In addition, the vehicles have diverse countries, parts, brands, models, and colors. This makes the design more diverse and challenging. I will also introduce our new work on vehicle identification based on this design. Next, I will go into the exact method part. I classified the existing method into four categories. First is uh, attribute recognition plus metric learning. Second is uh, detail aware alternative multi view inference. The, the third is the gun based. And the fourth is the multi modality data based method. Okay. Uh, the early vehicle identification method mainly try to combine vehicle attribute recognition and metric learning together to learn the discriminating features. For example, the DRDL method, which is the baseline method on vehicle ID data side, use the main task network for attribute recognition and the vehicle verification. The former is trained with cross entropy laws, and the latter is trained with uh, coupled class laws, which is a modification of trigger laws. We try to use uh, uh, we try to uh, combine the two laws together, two laws together to learn the discriminative uh, vehicle identification features. Then another paper first summarized the relationship between different vehicle images as multiple grants by using diverse attributes of vehicles. Based on the multi-grain multi constraints, they further propose two ranking methods, generalized pair ranking and multi grain based list ranking, which are incorporated with multi-attribute classification in a unified deep learning framework. This paper proposed a novel cost to find ranking losses to pull image of the same vehicles as close as possible and achieve discrimination between image from different vehicles and their vehicles from different vehicle models. The cost to find loss is include vehicle classification loss, cost ground ranking loss, the vehicle RD based fine ground ranking loss, and the pairwise loss. This is also the baseline method of the vehicle from million data size. This each part paper propose a rank semantic sample regarding the binary embedding method of fast vehicle ratification. The search can be conducted by efficiently computing similarity in the process space. Unlike previous methods using random sampling, this method designs the tree structures attributes to guide the many best sampling. The rank pairs of hard samples in the mini best can improve the convergence of optimization. This paper published in Archival Intersection on Multimedia proposed a graph sensitive to with embedding method. We define a graph graph label between samples and vehicle ID. 
Even a local ID, samples are available are clustered into a set of blocks. Such that in each block, the samples have similar fields. In a loss computation, the simple they, the simple variable from the graph and compute the soft max loss. Intro class in value trigger loss and intro class in value trigger loss in the graph. Compare the Cousin ID. Vehicle identification has unique characters and face specific challenge that make vehicle identification far from being solved. One challenge is the trivial interface difference between different vehicles of uh, different vehicles of similar vehicles, especially for the vehicles of the same model and color. Therefore, it is difficult to distinguish vehicle volume based on the global vehicle features, while the local details of vehicle parts must be exported for vehicle application. Moreover, since the vehicle have a rigid body, the vehicle application is a type of multi-vehicle matching problem, which makes the visible parts of one vehicle captured from various viewpoints extremely diff different. This brings ambiguity for the alignment of vehicle parts during the matching of part uh, features. Therefore, many measures propose the detail of their identity multi wheel inference method for vehicle identification. These measures can be further classified into multi-view difference-based method, global and local path-based method, hypothesis-based method, pattern-based method, and segmentation-based method. The first introduced Picker is a powerful multi-view inference picker. To address the challenging multi-view vehicle verification task, this picker implements nine parallel sets of convolutional and deconvolutional layers to infer transformations between the input visible view and other hidden eight uh, other eight hidden views of a vehicle. Then the bidirectional STM units into, uh, are used to learn successive transformations between features in neighboring views of vehicle. Finally, the features in all different viewpoints are filled and further mapped into a global feature implementation for the distance matching. That is the uh, first kind of multi-view inference paper. But this paper is a uh, typical global, global and local branch branching method, or called a uh, global and local pass method. It consists of two modulars. A uh, local modular which focuses on the part features to distinguish the subtle difference in real features and uh, a global modular which is regularized by the part attentions in a local model. The local net here is a common object detection network which generates the ROI uh, of each local part. After that, in every local part branch we project the ROI stimulated by the part localization model into the global feature map. This paper uh, proposed an uh, adaptive attention vehicle identification model pipeline. The input vehicle image 
is processed in parallel along two paths. In the first part, the global appearance features are extracted. The second part is uh, responsible, responsible for detection vehicle key points and uh, prediction its own uh, orientation. After this, localized features are uh, extracted based on the adapted key point selection. Subsequently, the two feature vectors are filled with a single multilayer perception. This RCCD paper proposes a novel viewpoint aware metric linear approach. It lends two metrics for similar viewpoints and different viewpoints in two different feature spaces, respectively. In rise to viewpoint aware network, join training two types of constraints are applied jointly. John Hickman's viewpoint is first estimated and the corresponding metric is used. The third kind of, uh, of method is the key point based method. The orientation environment feature embedding method first detects the 20 selected vehicle key points in which features are uh, which features are calculated based on the 20 vehicle key point locations. In this way, vehicles with subtle difference can be well distinguished. The proposed framework includes the orientation based region proposal modular the orientation-based feature extraction modular and the orientation environment feature aggregation model. Firstly, vehicle images are fed into the region proposal model, which produces the response map of 20 vehicle key points. The key points are then clustered into four orientation-based region proposal masks. Afterward, the original image together with the following proposal masks are utilized by the feature linear modeler to obtain one global feature vector and four region feature vectors. Finally, the features are filled by the aggregation modeler that outputs an orientation environment feature vector. This paper published in also published it also published in RCV two thousand nineteen proposed a uh, post layer multi task and application framework. This support include two innovations compared with previous method. First, it overcomes viewpoint dependency by using a bug vehicle poles and uh, uh, shape uh, will keep on heat map and segments from post estimation. Second, it jointly classifies semantic vehicle attributes while performing the application. So my task learning with embedded post to transition. Instead of using attention of key points, this paper directly uses the detector to detect the discriminative part for vehicle identification. Okay, after uh, different using key points or detector, this paper proposes a pattern based report. We are uh, aware in the network to achieve the real aware feature alignment and uh, enhancement for vehicle application. First, we introduce the pattern network to pass the vehicle into four different uh, wheels. 
then align the features by mask average point. Such alignment provides a fine grained condition of your vehicle. Second, in order to enhance the view of rear features, we design a common visible rotation to focus on the common visible views. It not only shortens the distance among mutual distance, but also invites the difference of inter distance. Next, I want to introduce our new paper published in SM Multimedia 2020. This work also uses the current information. As introduced before, we release a vehicle current data set. This are the set where we propose the current guided cross part streaming network named as PCR net for vehicle representation. The PCR net explores vehicle parking to learn discriminative part level features, model the model the uh, collision among vehicle parts. With the uh, post part, we extract regional features for its part and build a part labeling graph to model the creation among parts. Then the graph conventional networks are adopted to protect local information among parts, which can discover the most effective local features of varied viewpoints. Moreover, we propose a self-supervised part prediction loss, which can be used to make the uh, GCN generate features of variable part from variable part and different viewpoints. By this means, the same vehicle from different viewpoints can be matched with the well aligned and the robust feature recognitions. Instead of using key points or party labels, this paper proposed a, a dedicated semantic guided path attention network to robustly predict part addition, part attention masks for different wheels of the vehicle, uh, given all the image level semantic labels during training. With the help of part attention masks, we can extract discriminative features in this part, uh, in this part separately. Next, I will introduce the method how to use that to solve the multi-view with the representation problem. Here are four papers. The first paper is again to generate the discriminating features for this report. Similar to using that, this paper uses the generator to generate a hard negative sample and a similarity confront and attention regularization, while the discriminator tries to discriminate them. The generator and the discriminator are all natively optimized. They use the generated hard negative generator as well as training size to train a more discriminative embedding model. This paper presents self supervised attention for vehicle identification. It is a novel approach to effectively learn vehicle specific discriminative features. The input image is passed through the VE-based reconstruction model to remove vehicle-specific details. 
Next, the reconstruction is subtracted from the input image to form the residing image containing vehicle specific details. Later, the convex combination of the input and the radio is calculated and passed through the verification platform for deep feature extraction. Finally, I want to introduce the multi model data, the multi modality data based method. Instead of using real features, these methods uh, also try to rely the uh, special temporal information or less complete information for vehicle identification. Special temporal information is very important appears for vehicle identification. The special temporal regularization this paper explores the low log normalization distribution to model the spatial temporal concentration. The search results can be further refined by uh, the multi modality information. Our paper which is published in the actual section of multimedia, proposed a progressive vehicle identification framework. Besides the special temporal information, it also explores the license plate information. The framework includes three important parts. The appearance attributes based the Cost building part, the license plate verification based the fine search part, and the special temporal quality based ranking part. Our method also when the actual transaction 2019 provides the paper award. However, another works try to firstly use the vehicle identification to get many such license plates. Then use the license plates to do the domain preview again based on sequence resolution. Finally, the, the clear license plates are further used for vehicle identification again. After introducing the exhaustive method, I want to discuss five future research topics for vehicle identification. The first is cross domain or generalizable vehicle identification. This topic is important because in the real world application, it is very hard to get the target domain data. It is similar to question identification. Furthermore, because it is very hard to label vehicle identification data, the unsupervised or self supervised vehicle identification are also very important. To solve the data limitation problem, synthetic data, gener data generation for vehicle identification is an interesting and also an important research topic. For example, this paper introduced a large scale synthetic data size which is named vehicle X. It is collected by the 3D gra graphics engineer named uh, United. This data set 
contains 1,362 vehicles of various 3D models with fully editable attributes. We also propose an uh, attribute distance distant approach to let vehicle as appreciate the attributes in real world design. The fourth research topic will be the 3D vehicle analysis. For example, this paper proposed a novel framework that jointly detects and tricks 3D vehicle body bosses. Next, maybe we can use the 3D information for vehicle identification. Finally, as a hot research field now, the real-world applications are also very important for vehicle identification. The use for applications can further demonstrate the research value of vehicle identification. It can also bring many data and uh, new challenges for vehicle identification. To promote the applications of vehicle reality and other applications, we released the two uh, part of token for general experience application. This uh, token can accelerate progress in the community of general experience applications, including researchers and engineers in academic and the industry. In first ready topic, we have introduced a stronger model, extensible design that uh, allows anyone to uh, research and engineers easily to plug their own design model into the topic without repeatedly rewriting code base. We can quickly uh, we can uh, repeatedly move research ideas into production models throughout this topic. Moreover, the manageable system configuration makes it more flexible and uh, extensible. It's a really extended to a range of tasks such as general image retrieval and face information. More important, we also supply many existing modular, modular uh, networks or training tricks. For example, we give many new format training tricks, backbone, free. And so on. For network design, maybe we also built many useful models. For example, for pre processing, the size, creating, randomization, how to augment random patch per hour. For backbone, we give you nice, you nice, the next idea and the local, and so on. For aggregation, we, we, we design the attention, GM polling, average polling, and less polling modular in the uh, topic. We also build uh, many modular for the inference, uh, such as innovation, realization, and the distance metric. We think the topic is um, contains a modular and extensible design, manageable system configuration, which are in many systems, which are in the state of the art in models. Based on partial ID, we 
เวไวน์ได้มีเสียเวลาคนเชนมอลส์มาทัวทาสสปาร์พอสเนียดีกอสต์เมนพอสเนียดีพอสิโซพอสเนียดีเวลพอสเนียดีอีสานเอกุบลายจะรับรู้การพอมาเฟียร์คอมเพลชันบิทเทนบิทเทนบัตบอลสิวิธีที่สองเราคอยบาดเจ็บทอดฟาสเซียดีทอดไปกับอาวุธที่ห้าวิธีที่สองเราเชื่อว่ามองนั้นว่าสามเดือนสี่ฮันเดอร์สตาร์นอทในคอนทิบิวเตอร์สอาร์นอทเอริอาสคือเอ็มฟูร์เอ็มฟูร์เอ็มฟูร์เอ็มฟูร์เอ็มฟูร์เอ็มฟูร์เอ็มฟูร์ฟังวิวเลชั่นออนเดอะบริษัทเดซไซน์บริษัทอาร์ติเดซไซน์และบริษัทเดซไซน์ยูคันฟังดูไลท์ยูฟังชูนัดีโมเดลและชูสเตทออฟเดอะอาร์ตทูคอมเมนต์ You can easily reproduce the lab for your fast-reliable project. Now we keep on improving the system and try new tricks and new models and update that on the fast-reliable project. So it can help to keep the, the good performance on web and other business web applications. Finally, thank you for your listening. Uh, please contact me for the following email if you have any question. Welcome to download and try our fast web toolkit.